It was no surprise when we recently visited seven-time major champion Justine Ennen at her academy outside of Brussels that her life is still very much consumed by tennis on a daily basis. But when you watch her on court these days, it's apparent that her relationship with the sport that forever changed her life will never be the same. Oh, my relation with tennis is uh, it's still very intense because I have my academy and I'm here from the morning until the end of the day, almost every day of the week, because I want to give something back to tennis and to the life that brought me so many things. So I want to share my experience. Sport can give you a lot of things, okay? You can learn a lot of things at school, of course, but sport is a great school of life. Tennis uh, got into my life when I was uh, very young, uh, probably around five years old. It's like uh, you fall in love with something and something that becomes a, a big passion. When I was uh, six years old, I was uh, watching uh, Roland Garros on TV and then I was going into my bedroom and uh, I was pretending I was playing the final and I was winning and I was holding the trophy and uh, I was answering the, the journalist at the end of the match. I could visualize everything I wanted to achieve in tennis. And then I got the chance when I was 10 in 1992, and it was Celeste against Graf. She was my, uh, my biggest idol, and I had the chance to go, and I was five meters from her. And I was there with my mom. I grabbed my mom, and I said to her, one day I'll be on that court, and I will win. I really felt, okay, that's my, my destiny. When I heard that my mom was sick, I was 12, and she was sick from cancer. So when she passed away, it became my mission to, uh, to achieve that. I remember when I was meeting people and I was saying to them clearly that I wanted to become number one, they were laughing and they all thought that I wasn't strong enough, I wasn't tall enough. I loved that idea that I could prove to them one day that um, I could do it differently. In 2003, I qualified for the final against Kim. I always remember when I, uh, when I woke up uh, the day of the final, I said, I will win that final, and I was sure of it. We had a little word between Kim and me, and she said, I know how much uh, it is important for you. You just think, that's my dream of a little girl that comes true. Yeah, it's a moment that you, you are connected to something that is much bigger than you. After losing first round the following year due to a viral infection, Justine returned with a vengeance to Roland Garros in 2005, beginning one of the more memorable runs in tournament history. Winning a first uh, Roland Garros, yeah, was something amazing, but then come back in Paris after all the, the trouble I had. She has rebounded to win Roland Garros for the second time. It was uh, something very special. And then since then, I didn't lose a set for a couple of years in Paris, so it was the beginning of an, an amazing adventure. In every family, sometimes you have uh, ups and downs, and uh, it's not a secret that my dad and I, we had some problems for, for many years. It was tough to understand uh, each other. It hasn't been easy for him to raise the four kids after my mom passed away. The time did the job, and uh, we saw each other again, and it gave us the possibility to share a lot of emotions. 2006, 2007, I was a little bit in the zone in Roland Garros. In 2007, my brothers and my sister was the first time they were coming to see me in the Grand Slam. So I wanted to do well and I found a, a special energy and uh, I could play my best tennis on clay. I was feeling that everything was there for me to win another Roland Garros. I didn't know it was the last one. But I really, really enjoyed every second of it. Five years old, tennis became my whole life. And I did a lot of sacrifices to reach my dreams and to live my dreams. 
And I started to realize that I had the feeling I was missing a lot of things in, in my personal life. And I started to feel that uh, there was another life. When I go back to Paris, it's all the emotions uh, come back. Last year, I was there with my daughter. We took a picture on the center court. And even now, when I go back, I still get almost the same feeling uh, when I was a little girl. And it's something kind of magical that is very hard to, to describe. Mm -hmm.